Hello everyone, this is Divine Irony from Ghosts in the U, and things are a little crazy at my house now because I keep being called every five seconds. I don't understand why I have no, almost no time whatsoever now. I have less time than when I was in school. I know I said it in the previous video, but it does get really annoying when you want to narrate and you keep getting interrupted. And it just gets extremely annoying. Now we're finishing the Fajord Hawk quest now. We have to kill some of these Fajord Hawks. And just do that. Yeah. So we need to catch this last Fajord Hawk there. There we go. We, ca we caught it. And we can hand in the quest by now back to the Explorers League camp. So let us do that. Yay. You seriously guys, it's taking me... It's taking me 40 minutes to do one narration because everyone keeps interrupting me fi every 5 seconds to do something and I don't understand why. It's really annoying. Um, now what we need to do now is we need to collect a lot of items uh, to create a robot. It's not won't be a very advanced robot, it'll be a very rubbish robot really. Um, but there are two things we need to get now, two, well, really two quests and several things. The first thing we need to get is we need to get a pristine shovel tusk hide. Now these are found from the shovel tusks all across the, um, well, all across the Howling Fjord. You find them everywhere. There we go, we just got the pristine shovel tusk hide. And we need to get a large barrel, an industrial strength a rope, and a dark iron ignots. Uh, and we also need to get a well something. Well, we, we some well we, something drops from the Vrykel around all the camps uh, in Howling Fjord. So eventually, once we're killing some of these mobs, we will eventually get the item we need. Uh, the first item uh, there's a large barrel in this place. I think it's called Vitnifelva, and we have to kill some of these some of these hyenas. I don't know why the why there are hyenas in Northrend. They should not be able to survive here because they're a warm climate beast, and I don't understand why they're in a in in a cold climate. Let's not question Blizzard's infinite knowledge. Um, we're going to be leaving this uh, camp now because there isn't that many other things here. We're just going to kill a few of these dragon flayers who are casting spells at us, and we can now leave this. Um, well, leave Niflva and go north to the uh, other, no, well, the northeastern Vrykel camp, which will have an industrial strength rope for us. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, guys, yes, I have narrated this before, and I had to delete it because I, because I started going on a complete rant at my, well, at my brother for keeping whacking the door, so I couldn't get rid of the audio, so I had to. Uh, delete the entire file. Luckily it was only seven minutes into it so I didn't have to do the entire video again. Okay, we got the uh we got some we got steel ribbing from that uh Vrykel now. So all we need to do now is we need to well we've got all the items now so all we need to do is jump into the water. If I was on my death knight there I probably would have died because it would be would I would have been stupid enough to have the water walking ability up. Uh, the next uh, thing we need to get is the Dark Iron Ignots. We have to go back to Valgard, talk to a lovely little gnome here called something. Um, we have to. We're going to vend some items there. Talk to MacGyver, who gives us the Dark Iron, um, Dark Iron Ignots, and then sends us on our merry way uh, on a gnomish flying machine. I cut out the journey, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Now, the quest we're going to be doing now is going to be using this, quite frankly, rubbish robot. It's basically just a harvest... Uh, it's really just a harvest golem that you see in Westfall. I don't understand why Blizzard haven't upgraded the model or used a better model, but uh, never mind. Uh, these quests we're doing now are basically just to get us to, get us to know what the... Uh, what the iron constructs abilities are and how to use them. They're very easy, however, so I don't understand why we need to use them. And by the way, guys, if you if you're watching this carefully, for some reason there is a piece of shit on the, that carpet. I don't know why it's there. I I don't understand why it would be there, but uh, if the construct did that, I don't understand how it did that unless we did it, which is ugh. Uh, but never mind. Okay, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be uh, doing a quest for Hidalgo using the Rock Falcon again. Uh, this is a very fun quest which requires us to destroy eight uh, Fjord Hawk eggs which are found on the bluff here. 
the trained rock falcons a few abilities one is to go ex really uh, well well one ability is to make your flying speed incredibly faster one ability is to is to disorientate the Fajord Hawks and one ability is to destroy the eggs. Um, by the way, you cannot fight these Fajord Hawk matriarchs, the, um, the, well, the Hawks really, because they do hurt you very quickly and your Rock Falcon has very low health. The good thing, however, the Rock Falcon you can use as many times as you want. It doesn't matter how many times you kill it, maim it or cause it to be eaten by the Fajord Hawk matriarchs, uh, it will survive. Um, the uh, next quest we're doing is we're going to have to go to Bailgar's excavation site, which is a dark iron mining site. Uh, we need to collect data from 15 crystals, uh, and we can use our bluff ability to cause the dark iron dwarves to f make to... They actually think that we are a dark iron construct, which means that they're the most retarded dark iron dwarves I've ever freaking seen, because we look nothing like a dark iron construct. It, it, we're, cl we're very clearly something that the ex that the that the archaeological society of not of good dwarfs have dreamt up. So yeah, they're really really stupid. Uh, the other quest we're doing is we have to go into this cave here, watch a dialogue between the titans and the dark iron dwarfs. There is some lore going on. I have I didn't pay attention, so I don't know what they're talking about. I probably should realise what I'm talking about before I start narrating it, but never mind. By the way, uh, if you just saw that Iron Rune Golem, that's what they're supposed to look like. I mean, how stupid do you have to be to make us think that the, to, to think that this thing is one of those? Because we don't even look like... We look like a freaking Harvest Golem that the Alliance use. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm nerd raging for no reason now. Okay, all we need to do now is we need to find the rest of the crystals. Uh, but way, guys, also another thing is to to avoid those earth elementals because they can knock you off your... Well, they can't really knock you off your um, robot. What it means is if you don't kill the uh, earth elemental using your robot's auto attack, um, you'll have to go out of the robot form and you'll actually have to go back all the way back to the Explorers League to get another robot. Uh, the best place, however, to get these um, data collections, the data crystals, is actually on the floor. There, are, There's a lot more on the floor of the um, mining site that are on, are on the top. I didn't realise this until too late. But there you go, we've completely finished it, uh, the finished our quest now. And even though I'm talking fast, I hope you enjoyed that part. Now, the quest we're doing now is a quest that we did in two in the video before the last one. We're getting the last Cavalde artifact, which is in the boat here. We have to kill these vengeful Cavalde spirits and get the uh, shield, no, well, no, it's not the shield, the ancient arm of the Cavalde. Now, once you've done this, you actually have a brilliant thing there. Blizzard are awesome. We don't have to run all the way back to... Uh, Camagua. There's actually a um, enormous helicopter here, which is awesome. So now I cut out the. Um, I uh, uh, yeah, you did notice. I did just cut out the. Um, well, I I just cut out the. Uh, oh God, why can't I remember remember things names? Okay, I just cut out the um, the flying path there, so we can just carry on. And where we need to go now is we need to. I don't know. I, I I actually I don't really know where the hell are we going. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I understand. We need to go onto this um onto the lifts here, and we need to talk to the uh we need to talk to the uh, Tusker that is on the top of the lift. So there we go. I think we skip ahead here. Uh, yeah, we do. We talk to this guy. We hand in loads of quests. Gets us almost a hundred k experience, which is kind of awesome. And what we need to do now is we need to go back to the uh, Vrykel burying site again and put these artifacts back in their original place. And the Tuska are hoping this will cause the Cavaldia to go back to rest. Well, the Cavaldia don't go back to sleep that easily, and they are pretty pissed off now. They are awake and they want to eat some Tuska or kick some Tuska ass. So this, this, um, us taking the um, the stuff back doesn't really do anything. It just causes them to be even more angry, as you can see. And since the video is almost finished now, guys, there is like 30, 20 seconds left. I'm going to say thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video and have fun watching me put the artifacts back in their burial sites. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.